In a change of pace now, and a highly advanced Chinese Earth observation satellite has sent back a number of spectacular images from space, with objects like aeroplanes, buildings and trees being clearly defined. Authorities say Galfin 7 is an important part of the country's space program and is playing an even more important role in land surveying and mapping, as well as urban and rural construction. The satellite has taken thousands of pictures since it launched from the Taiyuan Satellite Launch Centre earlier last month. In November 2018, a barrier lake on the Jinsha River was formed after a landslide in southwest China. Local authorities activated an emergency response and evacuated more than 30,000 people. With the help of high-resolution Gulfin satellites, civilian experts were able to evaluate the cause of the landslide and discharge the water. Professor Fen Xuanmei and her team were involved in the emergency management. We have using like pre and post disaster imagery, uh, trying to understand where does this landslide material come from, uh, like the source material, and then we also can quantify uh, the deposition area. In this case, it's actually the landslide dam. We can also predict the future possible uh, like this kind of uh, cascading hazards. The Gulfin satellites are part of China's strategy to build an all-weather, 24-hour global Earth remote sensing system by 2020. There are now 15 Gulfin satellites orbiting in space, widely used in areas like disaster response, urban planning and precision agriculture mapping. Behind me is the largest width of grazing land for yaks. In the past, it was difficult for locals to demarcate the boundaries in detail, and the job could only be done by human labor. But since the high-resolution mapping system was introduced in 2016, things have become much easier. This grassland in Ganzi is an area of more than 9 million hectares. Some 100 people completed mapping the region back in the 1980s. But now, 10 people can do it and faster. The Gaofen satellite imagery is clear and intuitive, so locals recognize the mapping result. It costs much less for us because the data is totally free. In practice, our staff does not need to go to each hilltop, ditch and mountain ridge to measure in person. What they need to do is simply mark it on a satellite device. Much of Sichuan's territory is covered with mountains and plateaus. The province has developed a reliable system to utilize remote sensing technology. However, more is expected. We call for the government to involve more of Galfin satellite technology in daily work and management. And it's better to integrate the technology with the Internet and make the data of this highly invested national project better serve the daily life of the general public. The China National Space Administration says the Galfin satellite project is aimed at boosting the country's self-reliance in accessing high-resolution Earth observation data. It will also help promote global cooperation through data sharing and, in addition, support the Belt and Road Initiative. Meng Qiusheng, CGTN, Sichuan Province.